What's up guys, welcome to another video. You've been asking for it, so I'm finally getting around to doing it. I've been putting it off and putting it off, but now we're just gonna put it out here and get her done, right? So this is a what's in my tech bag for 2021 winter, early first quarter edition. And let's just start right off with the bag. It is different from the last time I've done a tech video, uh, tech bag video, because hey, who needed a tech bag last year, right? I didn't go anywhere. It was Groundhog Day every freaking day. I worked from home. So, you know, I really wasn't inspired to do a, a tech bag video. Um, things are kind of opening up a little bit more now, so I wanted to kind of get this out here and say, okay, hey, here's what I've done. I did my What I Carry On Me EDC video. So this is part two, part two, um, which is what I carry in my bag, okay? So first off and foremost, this bag is amazing, okay? You may not want to spend as much money on this as they go for, but if you want something that is truly high quality, premium grade, gonna last you for frickin' ever, look amazing, say that you like, you rock your, your style and your, you know, class and everything else, then this bag from Nutsack. This is kind of a little stray from them because they usually do those waxy canvas based bags. But this is the Jones 13, alright? There it is. The Jones 13. Um, at this time of the video, $490. And you can have here is a sizing tool, uh, it's like what, what will and will not fit in the bag. So if you got like a 13 inch laptop and you got it in a case or something, um, you can use the sizing tool and kind of determine is the, the contents that you carry the right bag for that. And as you can see here, it is just beautiful leather. Um, and it's made from Madone leather. I guess I'm pronouncing that right, Madone. Uh, first all leather premium satchel from Nutsack, because again, they always do those waxy canvas ones. Um, but they've come through and did this. Now the dimensions are 13 inch by nine and a half inches by three inches. The weight is only 2.19 pounds or 0 0.99 kilograms. Full grain Madone leather, comes with leather padded strap, antique brass hardware lined with khaki canvas, 30 day money back guarantee, lifetime guarantee. Um, and as you can see, it is hand sewn, American quality. I just clicked an ad or some kind. Um, brass hardware, it just goes on and on. Go to their website, check them out, look at that. No one has given them anything but 13 five stars. 13 five stars, all right? No one has said this bag remotely sucks. Okay, you can see it's patina already. Beautiful with use. I want it to. That's what gives it character and makes it unique. So, do I love the leather? Yes. Is it going to patina and look just amazing as it's being used? Yes. Is this brass hardware not the best looking? Yes. This I, I think they couldn't have done any better if they would have chose anything else. But this brass hardware with this, this leather, amazing combination. Love it. The padded strap, as you can see here, very nice. It's adjustable. So it's an over shoulder strap. Again, brass hardware. For the adjustable, adjustable buckles there. All right, it just is so quality. It's got a handle up top, so if you wanted to carry it like that, you could. Versus over the shoulder. Um, I have a Orbit key carabiner here that uh, goes on here and then just clips. This comes out. Uh, very easy thing to you know attach and detach. So basically, you just pull this off. Uh, put your keys on it, whatever you want on it, fob, uh, and it's a real quick, easy to detach, detach uh, solution. So uh, I do did add that on the side. Uh, if anything, I kind of wished it had like a water bottle sleeve. Man, I really, really like those water bottle sleeves, but I do have a water bottle that hooks onto this. Um, so, you know, I, I, I can have it dangling, but not the best solution. I really, really wished it would have a sleeve over here. If I had any complaints, that might be one of them. Uh, it's got a back pocket here, um, as well. So, and you can see, got some patina down here just from putting stuff in and out. Uh, and, uh, that's really it on the outside. So let's just go ahead and start right here and start diving in and seeing what I have for content. So... Back here, I carry, and this stuff here is still in here pretty tight. Um, you know, it is kind of a high theft spot, 
And also, you might kind of worry about this, like if you kind of dump your bag or something, which, you know, it does stand up pretty good on its own. But this is kind of a little concerning back here because there's no way to actually uh, strap that in. Might be another, hey, what, what would be a little button right here that you could just push or some Velcro or something to make this a little more secure, okay? That might be another suggestion. All right, so what do I got back here? I have recent video, actually. This thing I just got added to my, my tech bag because this is just the best uh, travel dock that I've ever, ever come across. The cable's built in. Uh, this is Otherworld Computing, otherwise known as OWC. Uh, travel dock, aluminum, beautiful, love it. It's now in my travel, or in my, my everyday carry. Um, this guy, uh, a Netgear uh, 4G modem. This thing is amazing because I got Ethernet on here, uh, USB-C to charge, and also a USB 3.0, 3.1, Type A, uh, that you can actually charge stuff off of the battery on this. It's fast, uh, and it's like I said, it's a router uh, LTE modem, and um, I've actually used this for different scenarios where uh, I can hook directly into Ethernet and get internet through that when I can't get it like through wireless or something like that so so that's it that's all I have in the back again because I just don't feel like the back is super super secure um, so I'm not storing anything small in there I kind of got my bigger goods and uh, call it good there so again the khaki interior look at that beautiful looks like somebody took a pair of dockers and just ripped them into a case uh, you've got a nice zipper here so let's open up this little pouch um, see what I carry uh, so I have my Apple magic trackpad Apple right here space gray you can see a theme everything seems to be like space gray right uh, I've got the Apple magic mouse well, I don't want to use the magic trackpad uh, what else uh, I believe this is my SSD this is a very fast and very secure solution so anytime uh, I'm carrying storage in a bag and leaving I'm using secure SSDs so this is a fingerprint sensor no one if I lose this whatever they're not gonna get to my data okay um, it's encrypted and it's got a biometric fingerprint scanner on it and that's a VAVA VAVA -VA, uh, SSD and it's very very fast this here from Delta Hub IO this here is a nice little wrist rest. Um, you know, you've heard of uh, some wrist support. This actually is kind of cool because it travels with your palm um, and gives you some support versus a wrist rest. This is kind of a palm rest uh, that works very, very well with like the, the magic mouse. So I carry that. And then, uh, hey, it's 2020 last year, right? So I've got this little guy here. You use it to open doors. You can punch on pads. Um, so you, it's kind of an anti-touch uh, key, right? So you can use this and uh, not touch everything. And that's everything I got in the front pocket. So um, quite a few little odds and ends. So let's get into the meat, right? Let's get inside of this bad boy. This is what I carry. And as you can see here, I try to be minimal, but I, I want to have the gear. Now I have a Peak Design, I think pencil case so let's look inside of here there we go so look how beautiful that is is that not just gorgeous the khaki design there's the nutsack made in the USA logo staring at you just it's quality again that khaki interior um, pockets galore I've got a pocket over here a pocket here and a zipper pocket um, back here that we'll get to here in a minute so let's just go ahead and pull out my main driver here this is the iPad Pro uh, 2018 edition, 12.9-inch uh, right here. So you got the Apple Pencil, um, and then it is skinned in a beautiful uh, walnut, or maybe it's oak, I don't know, but uh, wood skin in a magic keyboard, right? If I can get it open, find the camera. There you go. Got it. And love it. Okay, that's my daily driver. iPad Pro. Running out of room on the table. All right, what else do we got in here? So, I actually carry this little guy. This is a nice little uh, mouse pad. Fits in my bag, it's very thin. Oh, I think it's leather. Um, it's got a little rest dress too on it. 
so I'll use this because sometimes I get to a table and it might be kind of not good for the mouse. Uh, or I might use the magic trackpad in that situation. I now have another option. I can use this. And sometimes there's crumbs and crap. You know, you go to a coffee shop and work and you don't get the table cleaned right and you're like, oh, hey, nice. Uh, and that's all I got in that little zipper bag back here. Uh, in the front pocket here, let's put this stuff up top. So, uh, another recent video quip. Uh, this is my dental piece here, as you can see. Uh, this is just one of those refillable uh, dental things that I keep in my bag. Uh, sometimes it gets rather warm places I go. This is a USB-C fan. I can plug it into my iPad. You just put this little blade on here and then plug it into your iPad USB-C uh, and generate a little airflow. Sometimes it might get stuffy, right? Uh, this here, because I'm on conference calls and stuff, uh, this is a uh, Litra. Yeah, Litra. Uh, it's a light. It's got a diffuser on it currently. That's kind of a warm glow. Let me just push it. There you go. And then it's got like three levels of brightness. That's really bright. And then it's got like, for God's sakes, why would you want to do this to anyone as a strobe? Um, and then it's like multiple mounts. Like there's a there's a tripod mount. There's like a tripod mount. Um, so you've got many, many different options on how to mount this. And I believe I might have that in here. I'll, I'll have to see. Uh, this side. Uh, this is another previous video. I got my Satachi. It's like a three-in-one charger, right? Uh, wireless, Apple Watch, AirPods, phone, uh, all in one device. Sometimes I don't want to use the um, Magic Keyboard, so I have this Compass Pro from 12 South that my iPad Pro will go on. This is a really nice little compass that holds not just the iPad Pros, but uh, there you go. Get space gray. See a theme? But this just folds out really, really easy. It turns into like a nice desk stand. These little things come out and uh, they provide the support. And you can't go wrong with this guy for propping up your display. You know, maybe you have a secondary monitor or something and you can use this versus some other little chintzy plate way to, to prop it up. Uh, thin optics, my uh, blue light blocking readers. Um, just love these things. And oh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, my AirPods. Because they were not in my EDC video. They are in my bag. So I usually have AirPods with me. These are the pros. This is in a Simply Carbon Fiber uh, case, which is another video. We may have already debuted. I don't know. It's coming up for certain. And what else? Uh, pillbox. Man, is that it? That might be it. I thought I had my... Uh, mount piece in here for that Litra light, but I don't. So, uh, I usually put this Litra light on a suction cup and it mounts to the back of the laptop or the iPad. Uh, so it's more centered with my face when I'm doing calls. And then the last thing I have is this guy right here. This is my pillbox. I don't know. This is Embark. It's a nice aluminum pillbox that slides out. It's got a little wood piece here. Um, those are just my supplements and crap, so... Oh, and then on this side, it's got, like, the days of the week. Um, so you can, you know, take your pills as you need to and uh, call it good. So, that's really everything that I have in my tech bag. It is minimal. Oh, you guys probably want to see what's in here. Okay, let's... let's I almost forgot. You guys would have been, like, asking, what was in your pencil case? Well, there it is. That's why I couldn't find it. All right. Let's dip this out. So I got more diffusers, kind of like soft white, clear, you know, whatever for that Litra light. This is where this is at. Threw it in here. Uh, this suction cups to the back of your laptop, your iPad, whatever, and then it mounts on top. So you can have this light mounted here and centered. I have a bunch of different cables. C to A. Uh, this is another adapter for the Litra for something else. What do we got here? Another, just a bunch of cables and adapters. Oh, bunch. Uh, this Vinpoc, it's a lightning, gives you ability to hook into wired um, and then also charge. This you can plug into the iPad Pro, charge your Apple Watch. That's a backup for that guy. Same with the AirPods, this is a backup to that uh, Satachi 3 in 1. We got another little adapter for the Litra. Oh, I got my other Delta Hub I.O. in here. This needs to like go in my other 
uh, bag. This one's actually black and gray. So this is that palm rest. Don't need them both in here. Jeez. Uh, little, little uh, this is from I think Spigen. This is the uh, Type C 20 watt charger for your iPhone. Here's a C to C. Not just uh, that's got power and data. The iPad hyperdrive hub. So it plugs into the iPad Pro. It's USB C, it gives you all your ports. And then this is a belt clip for the Litra. And then a C to Lightning, uh, which you can plug into your iPad Pro and actually charge your iPhone. So there's like layers of backup here, as you can see. You know, if I, I run out of power, you know, worst case, I'm using my router, but this is my primary, is my Satachi 3 in 1 uh, to provide power for me. Now, if this thing gets, let me just check it here. Um, no, yeah, it looks like it's fully charged. So if this thing starts getting like pummeled with juice, then you know I can resort to my iPad. I can charge whatever here, here, uh, and then worst case, I go to my router and I'm tapping it for some juice if I don't need it to to give me internet, right? So a lot of different options here. Um, this is the what's in my tech bag 2021. I'll try to put links in the show notes for whatever you see here, guys. Um, I may not be able to get everything. Um, like I said, I'm trying to just use what I need to use, and that's it. Having two of these in here, kind of redundant. I'm going to toss that aside, put it in my other bag. Um, again, this is just my personal everyday carry in my tech bag. And this is everything that I have found that I need to go be productive, you know, editing videos, doing internet, media consumption, anything like that, even some documents. Um, I've been updating a lot of like financial spreadsheets, stuff like that here lately. So, uh, and then things I need, you know, like my pills and my oral hygiene and stuff like that in here. Uh, and I think, I think I got it all covered. You know, what I carry on me and then what I carry in my bag, I'm good. That's all I really need. And I could probably get by with a couple days, you know, outside of food, outside of water. Um, I'm good. Anyway, check the link in the show notes for uh, anything and everything here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comments, share the video, like the video, subscribe. You know the routine. Anyways, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.